Hi there, it's Pete, uh, the Lazy Cook Show, and th in this episode we're going to go to Mexico. We're going to do some salsita, and then we're going to do some nachos, but uh, first of all, let's tackle the salsita. It's a fresh salsa. Okay, salsita, let us begin. Um, I've got my uh, food processor bowl into which everything's going to go. I've got some, um, this is frozen coriander or, or cilantro, um, I, I, it, literally it's just a pinch I grabbed out of my frozen bag of cilantro. Uh, we, we're going to need a little bit of lemon juice, we're going to need some white vinegar, that's half a, sh uh, a, a, a shot glass uh, of lemon juice. There's half uh, a medium sized onion, there's about the same size piece of cucumber and I've got two tomatoes. Um, and a red uh, chilli, red, m fairly mild chilli pepper. Um, you can add hot, hotter peppers if you like or you can add a little hot pepper sauce to it if you like. Uh, whenever I add a uh, hot pepper I always add a little bit of sugar to balance it out so uh, let's get right on with it. First of all I just want to chop things up roughly so they go in the pot. No problem there. With tomatoes I don't like to keep that bit in there so what I do um, let's get you closer onto that. Okay, a little bit closer there. Um, what I do is I cut round, can you focus on that, that little bit there, and then that's then quite easy to just take out. That can go straight in there, put a knife through it a couple of times, and likewise with the other one, cutting around it just to make sure it's not. I don't want to put that bit in because they're sometimes a little bit woody, you know what I mean. Right, um, in go the tomatoes. So really the, the, the bulk of it is tomato. Um, I've cut the end bit off that because I didn't want it. And again, just chop this into little bits. It's got to go, it's going to get the good news when it goes around, whizzes around in there with that blade. So um, just chuck that in there. and. With the chilli, I just top it like that, chop it into pieces and chuck it straight in. In goes my coriander. This is so simple. Um, because we put the chilli in, I like to balance that out with one teaspoon, uh, one about level teaspoon of sugar. You can add a bit more if you like a sweet salsa, so that's up to you. Um, what I want is, um, I'm going to take about half of this lemon and I'm going to give that a, a good old squeeze into the bowl. Okay. Those of you who've seen my lemon video will realise I forgot to roll it there to get all the juice out of it. There you go, and in goes the vinegar. So that's everything in the bowl. Um, I'm going to stick this on my uh, food processor now and give it a good old whirl, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, I spared you the uh, noises of the uh, food uh, processor, um, but we ground it down to that kind of consistency. Let me just get you close up on that so you can really see it. Uh, let's pull it back here. Where, where's it going? Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Um, so it's down to that sort of consistency, and um, you'll see it's starting to leach a little bit of liquid. Um, if you decide to strain that off, and, and as you add salt to it, which is what we're going to do now, um, it will probably leach a little bit more liquid. There are a couple of things you can do at this stage. Uh, personally, it doesn't bother me, so that's going on my nachos as pretty much as it is. Uh, but you can add uh, a, a literally just the tip of that teaspoon of xanthan gum into it. Uh, I'll show you that. Xanthan gum. Xanthan gum. Okay. Um, you can, if you can't find it in the shops, you probably will, but if you can't find it in the shops, just order it online. X A N T H A N, Xanthan gum. Um, I always get it from the same supplier, so um, and it's reliable and good. Um, so uh, you can add a tiny bit of that to it and what that does it stabilizes it so so that you won't get that separation of liquid um, and 
kind of the, the actual flesh of the, of the items that's in it. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a bit of salt to that because I did taste it and it needed a bit of salt. And a little bit of black pepper because we know the rule on black pepper, don't we? You put black pepper in and then you pepper it. That's my rule anyway. And then we just taste it just to make sure it's right. Absolutely superb. A little bit hot, a little bit spicy, but it's exactly where I want it to be. Um, the next time you see this little cove, it'll be on me nachos. Later. Right, nachos. Right, we get an oven proof tray, crank the oven up to about 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is real quick, real easy to make. First of all, get your nachos. You don't need to mess about, just chuck them all on there like that. There you go. That doesn't take long, does it? Get them onto the tray. And then what I've done is I've taken one of these, um, one of these packs, 100 gram packs of, um, of uh, pancetta, uh, which is Italian air cured bacon. And we all know that everything tastes better when it's got bacon on it, don't we? And if that fails, we put cheese on it. And in this case, we're putting both on it. How about that? All right, so the first thing on here, I want to get some bacon bits. They're already cooked. I just fried them and then drained them on, on some um, kitchen uh, paper. And there you go. And so just a few bits of bacon on there. Then it on goes the cheese. And to serve it, there's some of the salsa we made earlier. And the only other things that you can put on it are sour cream and guacamole. I'm, I couldn't find any decent avocados. Um, the ones in the supermarket were all rock hard, so you can't, you can't really make them. Um, guacamole with those but I'll put up a guacamole video at some time in the future for you and um, now that's dressed as it is that just needs to go in the oven now for about um, no more than three to five minutes and then it just crisps up starts to melt the cheese and then we're ready to rock and roll boys and girls so I'll see you in a couple of minutes so there we have it about Four or five minutes later, uh, you see the some of the cheese is browning on the edges, and the edges of the tortilla chips are just starting to to, to brown themselves. So um, all I would do now is uh, put a, a generous portion of these into a bowl and top them. With my favourite toppings. Now um, the other. Uh, meat you can put on this is you can put on your favorite chili um, or just choose whatever you like you know really uh, or, or if you've got some leftover pasta sauce you know meat sauce from pasta and this is this will do it this is a man-sized portion and guacamole is another one um, I, I, I couldn't do any guacamole unfortunately because they're all rock hard in my local supermarket but I think I've told you that already there we go. A bit of this uh, salsita on it. The, the reason I call it salsita and not salsa is because I believe, and I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, that a salsita is, a cook, uh, is, is an uncooked version of a salsa. So if it's been cooked at all, then it's a salsa. At least this is what I understand. Um, so that's um, basically it, served up and ready to go. So it's got the salsa on, sour cream, and if you've got any guacamole, put that on too. Um, but there you go, um, cheese and bacon nachos. Enjoy.